air-cooled towers have proven that they are capable of keeping up with the super small 7 nanometer designs that you see now today with the latest Ryzen processors. And it is my opinion that if you are looking to build a simple air-cooled system, that the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 is a wonderful cooler, and if you give me five minutes, I'll tell you why you should consider it. I am The Graying Tech, a gaming insider, and if you would like to learn how to improve your gaming performance, start now by clicking that subscribe button. Going through the pros, first and foremost, this is a highly effective fan and cooler design. Be Quiet has combined a wonderful dual fan design with their Be Quiet Silent Wings 2, all in one, very dark, very attractive, CPU tower cooler that is capable of rivaling many of the AIO water coolers that are out there. It is very, very quiet, even under significant load, barely cracking 40 decibels at three feet away from my case. Now this is in a sealed environment, but still that is very impressive for a cooler that is capable of achieving 4.7 all core on a Ryzen 5950X. So Be Quiet has combined excellent fans, very quiet fans, with a very powerful thermal solution in the tower design itself. It is highly effective at being able to cool even during bursty load periods. And the Cinebench scores that I was achieving bear that out. 11,800 at 4.7 gigahertz maxed out all core. Now this was before really truly tuning and dialing things in. This was simply using ASUS's AI tuning utility. So there's even more headroom that you can squeeze out and the cooler, I believe, will be able to keep up with that. That is phenomenal for a product that costs less than $100. Be Quiet also includes highly effective thermal compound that does the job. You only get one application though, which brings us into the cons. First off, this is only a one-shot deal unless you wanna buy extra thermal compound. Now, luckily, I had no problem using their compound, being able to spread it out and get the adequate amount of coverage that I needed. Just be warned, it's a one-time use only. The second issue that I have with this cooler is it does block the RAM slots almost in its entirety. The first two slots are completely covered by the heatsink. The third and the fourth slots are covered by the fan itself. This means if you need to swap RAM or make any adjustments, you're going to have to take off at least the fan assembly itself, if not the entire tower in order to access your RAM. This also means if you've paid for a fancy RGB RAM, like the Corsair Vengeance right here, you might not be able to see it as well. And that is kind of a con in and of itself as well. Despite awkwardly covering the RAM slots, which is a common problem with these towers, I really like the Dark Rock Pro 4. It does a wonderful job keeping my 5950X cool under the most extreme of conditions and providing excellent Cinebench R20 scores that do exceed what AMD claims is capable from this particular processor. And that's before really fine tuning a lot of the extra details. So we have a wonderful tower doing a great job at cooling your system for less than $100. Installation itself was extremely easy. My two minions were even able to help me in doing so, simply screwing down two screws with the included screwdriver, which is extra long, which is a nice touch. Now, some people have commented that it doesn't use the default brackets built into the motherboard. I'm okay with that. I would rather have a custom purpose-built solution that's gonna make sure that I get great contact. Additionally, there's really only two screws that you need in order to secure the tower. It is designed to use a counter lever system that puts adequate pressure across the entire IHS assembly, which gives you great connectivity and great connection down to your processor. All in all, if you pair up this tower with something like the Li and Li O11 Dynamic, you are going to get a great amount of thermal headroom and great performance. And you can check out the full thermal review and fan review of Project Red Star right there for more details.